Now let's look at the distribution of the sampling proportion. If you recall, in the last uh, videos, we looked at the distribution of the sampling means, which is very similar to the normal distribution, but we allowed for sampling error. That was really the only difference. Here's our Z formula. Unfortunately, when you're working with sample proportions, we can't use this formula. Let's take a look at a problem. So in the last election, the incumbent received 55% of the vote. Assuming her support has not changed, if we take a sample poll of 500 people, what is the probability that fewer than 49% say they will vote for her? So you just can't fit these numbers into the old formula. It just doesn't work. But we can still use the normal distribution, and we can allow for sampling error. This is what the sampling error for a proportion looks like. Let's see how that fits into a Z formula for sample proportions. So here's our formula to get a Z value, and of course then we can just look up the Z value. The P with a hat, it's called P hat, is the proportion in question. The other P, which shows up three times, is your known proportion, and of course N is always your sample size. So let's see how we would use this formula for our, our current problem. Back to our problem, the incumbent received 55% of the vote, but we are assuming her support has not changed. Therefore, the 55% is our known percentage. The sample size is 500, and the probability in question is 49%. So let's go ahead and fill that in in our formula. Here we have the formula, and here we have it filled in. This is the one we're looking for right here, the 49%. The 55 shows up three times, and the 500 is our sample size. That's going to give us a Z value. So we'll go ahead and solve that, and we get a Z value of negative 2.6968. Now, of course, this isn't our answer. This is just a Z value. We then either have to look it up on a chart or use an Excel formula to get a percentage that corresponds to that z-value. Here I've used the norm.s.dist formula to look up the z-value, and I get an answer of 0 0.0035, or 0.35%. So let's take a look at how we interpret that if we go back to the original problem. So given this situation, it is highly unlikely that fewer than 49% say they will vote for her. So if you did a poll of 500 people and fewer than 49% said they would vote for her, then it's very, very likely that your original assumption that she still had 55% of the vote is incorrect because it's highly unlikely that you would get this result. It's actually less than 1%. It's about a third of a percent. So that's how we would interpret it. Now, in the future video, we're going to see how to use Excel to solve these problems because, unfortunately, there isn't a straight Excel formula, so you kind of have to build one. But that we will save for another video.